Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about another problem that we got from 2013 Singapore Mass Olympiad. In this problem, we have x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 and we know x is a complex number. We want to find x to the power of 49 plus x to the power of 50 up to x to the power of 53. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about the problem. To solve this problem, let's start by factoring out what's common in all of these terms. You can see that x to the power of 49 is a common term that we can factor out. If we do so, then the expression is going to be x to the power of 49 times 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the power of 4. Now remember, from the assumptions of the problem, we have x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. So the first two terms here can be replaced by 0. And then the final answer that we have from this expression is going to be x to the power of 49 times x cubed plus x to the power of 4. Now we are going to apply the same approach that we had before. Here we can factor out x3 and if we do so then we have x to the power of 49 times x cubed times 1 plus x is going to be the expression that we have. Again, remember x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. So 1 plus x is equal to negative x squared. If we use this identity, then we have x to the power of 52 times negative x squared, which is negative x to the power of 54. To be able to simplify the expression further, we are going to use an identity here. Remember, x cubed minus 1 is equal to x squared plus x plus 1 times x minus 1. So if we rearrange the expression, if we rearrange the identity, we know that x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to x cubed minus 1 over x minus 1. At the same time, x squared plus x plus 1 here for this particular problem is equal to 0, so we can say that x cubed is equal to 1. Remember, x is a complex number and we are not going to find the value that we have for x. We are just going to use x cubed is equal to 1 for the rest of this problem. From here, the rest is easy. First, we know that the whole expression that we need to evaluate is negative x to the power of 54. At the same time, 54 is equal to 3 times 18. We know that x to the power of 3 is equal to 1, so we write the expression as negative x to the power of 3 to the power of 18. And then we replace x to the power of 3 with 1, and then the final expression is going to be negative 1. And that's our answer. To wrap up, let's summarize what we've done to solve this problem. We had an expression and we knew that x to the power of 2 plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. We wanted to find a new expression based on what we have. In this kind of problem, we usually try to find the expression that we know as. For this kind of problems, we usually start by extracting what we know from the expression that we don't know. Following this approach, we first extracted x to the power of 49 from this expression. And then we saw that we can simplify the whole expression to just two terms. In that case, then we factor out what we had in common between these two terms. And then we simplify it further. Remember, we also use as identity to find x to the power of 3. We use this x to the power of 3 to find the final answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles and math involved activities, please subscribe to the channel.